I am back with another video, and this time it's I'm talking about the UPS strike because it is looming. Um, July 31st is coming awfully close. That's when they have their last day, and then they will go on strike. They're currently back up and negotiating again. From what I heard, last week the talks broke down over the conditions for part-time workers, and I've heard that they're back up and running on trying to negotiate this week. So there may not be a strike, but just in case... They're telling people, you know, they've been telling people to prepare. Well, now that we're getting closer to <clears throat> the end of this month, it's um, time to get ready for it just in case. The last time they had a strike was in 1997 and it lasted for 15 days. So FedEx and, and uh, the United States Postal Service have said they're getting ready to take on the load from this. Um, but there's only so much they can do. So they're already talking about there could be slower delivery times, especially in rural areas for small businesses. Supply chain disruptions, healthcare, construction industries, farming, people like that could also be affected by this. Because I think they said the last time the strike happened, it affected like the healthcare industry and, sm and supply chain people. So you could see higher shipping costs from competitors or, you, or when you're paying for the um, you want it now shipping. And so they said that... Um, you need to start preparing, like I said. Um, how to prepare is, they said, to try to order what you need now online, all your necessities, whatever you think that you need that UPS usually brings you. Um, if you know that UPS brings it to you, you need to start buying it now. If you haven't already started getting that going, because apparently UPS is still going to, of course, um, deliver their stuff until then. And... Um, <clears throat> They're also talking about ordering online but picking it up in stores. Um, buy from companies who you know don't rely on UPS. Um, try to order in larger quantities that could help during the strike. Um, so that if you know there is delays and stuff, you don't have to worry about it being delayed three or four days. Um, since nobody knows what's going to happen with this if there is a strike... And these ideas could help you if there is the strike. So, um, <clears throat> so, you know, remember to prepare. So buy all your necessities now. Get them going. If you know UPS brings it, make sure you get your necessities now. Um, start ordering them online. Buy from companies you know don't rely on UPS, which I kind of think that's kind of hard because how many times have you bought from someplace and found out later who... Who sent it to you? Because I don't know how many times I've bought from someplace and thought FedEx was bringing it. And then it says uh, UPS or the Postal Service. And I was expecting, you know, FedEx or UPS and all of a sudden it's the Postal Service. So I kind of think that was kind of hard to, to determine. Um, but you can see if you can do that. Um, order online, but pick it up in stores when you can, if you can. Buy in large quantities. That can help you during the strike. And of course getting out and going to places. Since they've said that since this is summertime. It's a lot easier to get to places. Than if this was like you know snowing and icing and that kind of thing. So hopefully there isn't a strike. And they come to an agreement. And everything's fine. And they get what they need and want. Thank you for watching. Bye.